typical shooters have come to all but dominate the market these days. But that doesn't mean that all developers have stopped trying new and innovative things. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unconventional video game shooters. For this countdown, we've selected the most unique or unusual games that play in the way a shooter does, with precedence going to those that truly break the mold. There still has to be some form of shooting in the game, so no walking simulators like Soma or Dear Esther. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. And, of course, only one game per franchise. How do you start this stupid thing? Number 10, Steel Diver Sub Wars. Placing players in control of a submarine in battle, Steel Diver Sub Wars puts the 3DS's capabilities to full use. Players view the game through the first person perspective in full 3D, and you have the options of either using the Circle Pad Pro or the levers and buttons on the touch screen to control your sub. The game's focus is on multiplayer battles, throwing players into four-on-four -four matches that require strategic movement and intense precision rather than fast-paced twitch skills. Ready torpedoes. Even the multiplayer chat takes on this theme and uses Morris code to send messages. Oh, and it's free to play. Sweet. Fire. Number nine, Odd World: Stranger's Wrath. You will be Don't let that across. Plenty of games switch up the shooter's general monotony with crazy weapons, but few do it with just ammo. Oddworld Stranger's Wrath puts players in control of the stranger as he sets out to capture wanted outlaws, dead or alive. I got a bounty hunter here, and yeah, wants to have a word with you. Alrighty, here, here you go. The game is completely unique in the way that you do so. While it makes use of a capture system, where keeping the criminal alive grants you a bigger reward, the real fun comes from the stranger's crossbow. Able to be loaded up with a ton of different small animals to launch at unsuspecting enemies, the stranger's crossbow is certainly a unique weapon. Hey, who doesn't want to throw skunks at people? Number 8. Pokemon Snap Hunting Pokemon is something that no kid would ever really want to do. So instead, the developers of Snap decided to put a camera in the hands of a player instead of a gun and let them loose in the Pokemon world. As you play as Todd Snap, an assistant to Professor Oak, you'll travel to a number of different locations to chase down the Pokemon that live there and snag some awesome pictures along the way. You'll have some items like bait and pester balls to help you get the best shots, and you might even facilitate an evolution or two. Number 7. Plants vs. Zombies – Garden Warfare Leaving the Defend Your House style gameplay behind, Garden Warfare brings the series into a 3D, third-person competitive shooter. Despite the move to 3D, the game still captures the distinct style of Plants vs. Zombies, with all kinds of zany weapons and gadgets, ranging from weed killer and warp gadgets to simple seed-spitting plants. As you play and level up, you'll unlock more progressively ridiculous classes and weapons, and even some crazy special abilities. Oh, and did I mention how ridiculous some of these classes are, especially with the plants? With all kinds of craziness happening on the battlefield, this game is certainly hard to miss. Number 6. Ratchet and Clank Ratchet, this is no time for you to become cautious. We have reached our goal. Who would have expected something called a Lombax to be so cool? Ratchet and Clank's selling point was the platforming adventure goodness mixed with third-person shooting mechanics. However, what really set the game apart from most was the exceptionally unusual weaponry that could be found throughout the game. Ratchet's armory may start small with nothing but a wrench, but the oversized and ultra-destructive weaponry was just around the corner. With your hero using all kinds of weaponry from a giant flamethrower to an auto-targeting 9-round missile launcher, he's got some of the most memorable weaponry out there. And as later games got released, the weaponry only got crazier. Number 5. Xeno Clash First-person games have almost always defaulted to being only a shooter, but first-person melee combat is just as intense. Xeno Clash is one game that puts a very heavy focus on first-person unarmed combat, and it does so extremely well. Setting itself apart with tons of context-sensitive abilities and attacks, Xeno Clash does a fantastic job of bringing unarmed brawls to life. We'll kill you. 
While there are a few sections where you'll get access to ranged weaponry, nothing will top the feeling of pummeling an enemy into submission with nothing but your fists in first person. <laughs> Gotta shoot ya! Number four, Mirror's Edge. Face on our way, get your ass ready to move. Parkour has been a huge part of a lot of recent games, bringing a ton of verticality and freedom to genres that didn't have them before. However, Mirror's Edge didn't just add parkour, the game was parkour. Focusing on the main character Faith's movement, the game is all about getting from point A to point B in style while trying to stay alive. While the first person combat in the game is still a selling point, this is a shooter that really emphasizes the run aspect of run and gun. With Mirror's Edge never breaking that first person perspective, immersion is the key here. Number 3, Natural Selection 2. Mixing genres often gives life to some very interesting games, and Natural Selection 2 is one such example. With a mix of twitchy first-person shooting and real-time strategy management, Natural Selection 2's gameplay is hard to replicate. The game puts one player on each side into a commander position, allowing them to command their team and juggle resources and buildings the way real-time strategy games are played. Your base is under attack. With the buildings and upgrades being fully destructible, this puts tons of objectives on the huge map, making Natural Selection 2 a very strategy-focused game. Objective completed. Oh. Number 2, Splatoon. How can you have a traditional shooter without any actual violence? Well, Nintendo answered that question with Splatoon, featuring the Inklings, kids that can transform into anthropomorphic squids. Or is it the other way around? You're a king! Combat focuses on using squid ink to dominate the battlefield by covering up the ink of the opposite team or using it to splat your opponents. The game focuses heavily on the ink itself, which is more like paint, with players able to morph into squid form to swim through their ink for faster movement while the other team's color slows you down on foot. And with tons of paint-themed weapons from squirt guns to giant paint rollers, Splatoon is definitely a unique shooter. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Portal 2. Who would have ever thought that testing could be so much fun? Woo! <laughs> I knew this would be fun. Portal 2 tasks players with controlling Chell, a woman trapped in the Aperture Science Labs as she attempts to escape with the help of a few select crazy characters. Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift, I'll call it down. Throughout the game, you'll be utilizing the portal gun, which allows you to connect two surfaces with a portal to jump, walk, or otherwise pass through to solve puzzle after puzzle. The game's entire gameplay revolves around the gun, and it makes for a singularly unique experience, which is compounded by the constant audio files and comedy happening throughout the game that will leave anyone in stitches. It clung to my brain like a tumor, generating an endless stream of terrible ideas. No, not listening, not listening. Do you agree with our list? Your craftsmanship is excellent. What's the most unique shooter that you've ever played? For more unusual top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, that's good to know.